Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today for you, I have a guide of Deep Rock Galactic. This is not a guide on a weapon or anything like that. It's a guide on a mod. I've seen that some people have some troubles with this and I've decided to make a guide. The mod is this one. It's custom soundtrack made by Miracle. It's actually a very good mod, which allows you to put your soundtracks inside the game. Now, this is the UI, but before going into this, Let's go and read the mods page, okay? Okay, so Miracle's custom soundtrack. Now, Miracle wrote the instructions here, which is fine if you're not like familiar with this type of stuff or basic windows, you know, it's hard to understand. But we will go through each one of these step by step, okay? So don't worry. Let's read something important first. This, supported file types. This is the file types that you can put inside your game for the mod to work, okay? Which is MP3 and WAV. And then there's unsupported file types, but it's, it's fine, just it's AUG and FLAC, whatever. Okay, now there's replacing a song and adding a song, but uh, as you can see, they are, the instruction is basically just the same for both of them. The only difference is like, a couple of clicks in game so no don't worry about that let's start with replacing a song okay replacing a song means that you're going to replace the vanilla musics of the game okay there is a list of every track here there's a, a track that plays during dreadnought fight during end wave end wave i think is um when you when you run to the drop pod and then Zorm, Zorm Loop is, I think, is um, during Refinery and Doretta's mission. Level music is the background music that plays during the level. It's like a lower volume, special events, and Jukebox, okay? Then there's a recently added Space Rig and Memorial Hall, which these two I'm going to work with today. I'm going to show you, but it doesn't matter which one you replace, okay? Then, of course, the mod requires you a dependency, which is the Miracle Mod Manager. Uh, otherwise, you would not be able to access to it. Anyway, I'm assuming, guys, that if you're ready to put music into your game, that you have your files ready to go, okay? So, first it says, copy the song you would like to play into Mod's Miracle Custom Soundtrack and copy the file name, including in the extension. And it, it, it shows my song.mp3. Okay, let's do this. It's very easy. So... I have the music here, it's just Black Ops music, okay, very simple, very easy. I'm gonna close the game, go on Steam, then we, you go into your library, look for Deep Pro Galactic, right click, properties, local files, browse local files, and then what, what do I do here? You can just go here in FSD, okay, FSD, mods. Then there's Miracle, and then you go to Custom Soundtrack, and here you want, you have all the music you want. This is the folder where you want to put all the music. Now, before putting the music, there is a file, there is a TXT file, this one. This file is essential, so if you delete this, if you eventually delete this, you will lose all the music saved in game. So make sure to never delete this, and don't worry, because this file updates every time you add a song or make a change, all right? Just to let you know. Anyway, we're gonna take our music, remember the name. One is called blackops1.mp3, the other is called blackops2.mp3. We are gonna put it in our folder here drag and drop, whatever. There it is. Let's close this and start the game once more. I really need a more comfy bed. So, this is the terminal, okay? When you're in game, you look for this terminal, Miracle Terminal, and you, you'll, you'll have this, the home page. You go to mods, and then you have the mods of Miracle here. We go on custom soundtrack. Now, let's go back on our browser and check the instructions. Two, open the settings menu in game and select the biome you would want to replace a song in. If you want to replace it in all biomes, select global. It's very simple. There's global here, see, then Azure World, Crystalline Caverns, that's Biozone, Fungus Box, and so on. So if you click global, the songs you replace or add are going to play in every biome, or else you can just specify which one, okay? Good. Three, 
open the replace a song section. Let's do that. We go here, then edit. And then I'm going to replace the space rig and the memorial hall. All right. You click on which one i clicked space rig and it shows up space rig there's on the left ambience music which is the vanilla song that plays if we go back down here and check okay see space rig ambience music that's the name of the song okay good four if it is not already present in the list add a new entry it's it is already present so no need to do that change the name of the song on the left of the arrow to the name of the song you would like to replace now it, here it's ambience music so it's already there okay so don't touch that then six and this is the last instruction change the name of the song on the right of the arrow to the name of the song you would like to play instead so let's do that let's let's type black ops one then important you need to add the extension with so you need to type dot mp3 and that's done okay very easy now let's do the same for memorial hall black hopes 2 this time that mp3 and that's done now if we do this it's gonna save okay let's do add soundtrack okay adding a song these songs are extra songs you can add to the game that play together with the vanilla ones you replaced or not replaced okay so the instructions are basically just the same it just changes a couple of clicks like i said before so we go back to option three, open the add a song section, which is this one, add soundtrack. You click edit, then you need to add a new entry to the list. So it's going to look like this, basically, okay? It's going to be like, there's nothing here. You need to click add a song to category and then here as well, okay? Then here you see a string of numbers, letters, just delete that. It needs something to work. And then add the name of the song you have copied in step one. And once again, we do black ops, black ops one dot mp3 and black oops 2 dot mp3 okay done if we reload the space rig it should play the music we set let's see yes let's go to the memorial hall so to see that it changes as well Okay, this is the Black Ops 2 music. The previous one was the Black Ops 1 music. Okay. Okay, now, on the last thing, there's silencing a vanilla song, which is even easier. Let's go here and then here. For example, Dreadnought Fight. I have a perfect hero.mp3. Uh, oh, actually, no. Black UFO, which is easier to remember. And it says, open the setting. Then four, change the name of the song on the left of the arrow to the name of the song you would like to remove. So, if, for example, if you want to remove Horrors of Hoxes, you, you select this one. And then change the value to the right of the arrow to silent. And if we do this, the music is not going to play, okay? If you don't want to replace the song, just type null. All right? null and this is just gonna play the vanilla music whenever it pops up okay i'm gonna put black ufo back in place all right then there's a few notes to consider here the folder and settings file are automatically generated inside the mods directory of the game and the settings file is the, is the txt file i've showed you earlier okay then, as I said before, you must include the file extension, for example, .mp3, of a custom song you're adding. Then it says you cannot replace the mission and screen song. And what I just said again, if you change the name of the song to no, it will act as it's not on a list and it will not be replaced. So it, it plays the vanilla one, okay? The songs in a biome list will always take priority over the global list. Then it says you can delete the custom settings file txt and reload the spacing to get the most up-to-date default file. Do not delete this, or if you do delete this file, as I, as I said earlier, it takes a while to add a song for each one, okay? If you delete the file, you're gonna have null, null, null all over and you're gonna have to do it over again. So don't do that, okay, guys? Do it only if like the file corrupts, like it happened to me a few months ago. And if there's a problem, you just do that. But it should work just fine. Miracle did a lot of fixes and the mod works just fine now. Then it says when 
editing the settings file directly when it says directly it means when you we directly open the txt file okay like this and say there's a uh, music here this means you're directly editing it so but don't worry if you don't if you don't touch this you, you don't have to worry about this anyway it says you do not have the most settings menu open in the game the file will be overwritten when you close the menu changes directly made into the settings file will only take effect after a level has been loaded that means you will either have to click on the disband team to reload the space or start a mission that's it from me guys thank you for watching and see you to the next one black race blonde <laughs> Ooh, that's nice.